Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's album review. We're going to be reviewing Kings of Leon with their latest album, just released this year, When You See Yourself. So uh, it was Brett, I believe, who chose the album. So Brett, let us know, what did you think of it? I didn't dislike the album. There, said it, end of. Um, this is a really tough one. This is a really hard one to um, to do, really. And yeah, obviously, this is a brand new album, literally released um, like a few weeks ago. Um, it's weird, because obviously, in this particular series, we've had the likes of Gorillaz, Limp Biscuits, and even the last album we did, Will I Am. And all of those three albums, you know, had a lot of songs on, a lot of stuff going on. This is almost like the complete opposite. Um, and I probably have to apologise because I actually haven't got a lot to probably say about the album, about the songs. It's a very, I've written the words here and I, I don't want this to come out too negative. As I said, I, I didn't dislike it. Very vanilla. A bit boring could be perceived. They're, it's a very safe album. It's just a nice album. It's just nothing... <laughs> nothing to it all the songs pretty much sound the same um in some regards there was obviously there was some little differences but generally I, I couldn't be able to tell the difference between each songs but then i'm saying that there were you know two or three songs i did quite like and would consider um you know if i was listening to a game would i put it onto playlists it's just what i would call just a nice album i, I, I don't think i can really say much more than that, like I said, from a lot of songs there, hard to dislike. It, I mean, even if you're not a fan of this type of music, and again, I'm probably a bit more biased because I, I do like this style of music. Even if you didn't like it, 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 it would be written, and this is probably what you might say differently, Lee, um, very difficult to really go and go, absolutely hate it. You just, you just can't, because it's just, there's, there's nothing to it. It's not offensive. Even the, some of the song titles are just quite, bland and just uh, yeah that's what I said it's a really difficult one to do because I said I actually didn't 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 mind it could listen to it happy to listen to it but just difficult to maybe review <laughs> okay yeah um I would echo pretty much everything you said there to be honest um I don't know if that surprises you or not um I think you made a good point about how like we've had quite a few albums in this series, particularly the last one, Will I Am, and obviously and the others as well, like Limp Biscuit and others as well, where there's been so much going on. Um, and with different, some of them had different, a lot of them had different artists as well, you know, all stuff, all, just all sorts going on. Whereas with this, this was just very bland in, in comparison. It, it was just the Kings of Leon, just, quite nothing spectacular but nothing to really dislike as well if you see what i mean so i think for me what the notes i've got here um then when kings of leon came up i wasn't really sure about about them because they are obviously some kind of rock band of some sort um rock's not my my sort of thing yes i did like one song of theirs from a long time ago um what's it called sex sex on fire is that the one yeah um but i think for me the reason why i wouldn't say i, I really like this album but i think the fact that the fact they are a rock band that kind of worried me a bit so my expectation was quite low so what i've put here is what i was expecting harder rock but it was surprisingly sort of soft you know soft quiet very listenable, like you said there, even if you're not into this type of music, like rock, kind of rock music, whatever, you'd still find this quite difficult to really dislike. Um, and I felt that was definitely the case. Um, I, I quite enjoyed the style of most of the songs on the album without really overly liking any particular song. And I'd say it was, it was slightly better than, than what I expected, just based on the, the fact they are a rock band and I was expecting some real heavy it's not that heavy but just didn't think it would be my cup of tea but in actual fact it was actually more than listenable and you know quite pleasant but just not really 
any song really sort of took my my fancy, I guess. Um, that's probably how I would, um, yeah, my opinion on the album. Quite similar to yours, really. Yeah, that's, like I said, it's pretty, probably said a little bit than I did, but that's exactly as it is. And I think, um, because obviously King's Leon's actually, when I was looking back at some of their singles, I'm trying to remember to see if there's other songs that maybe they had done that I hadn't thought of. And there was only one called Reveille, um, which is very different to Sex and Fire. And I think if anyone was to listen to this and expecting to get like sort of a Kings of Leon song type, of, you're just not going to find on this one. They're more going to be like their other song, Reveille, which it's got that sort of more feel to it. But a bit also when we did special review on The Killers, which I would put them in the same bracket as sort of Kings of Leon, when we listen to the album, at least you sort of had the, the mixture of, you know, some of these softer, just nice songs, and then also some of their rock on. But this one, it, it just doesn't have any of that sort of rock element to it. Okay, well, there, there was a one or two that I thought were a bit more upbeat, a bit more rocky, but we'll, we'll get to, we'll talk about those when we get there. So, going through the songs, then first one, um, when you see, oh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, when you that, when you see yourself. Oh, when you see yourself, yeah, are we you see far, yourself away? far away. Yeah, okay. So, I, I put unusual for a first song because just by the, the pure fact, I think it was the longest song on the album. You wouldn't normally expect that. Normally at the beginning of an album, you might get an introduction, something really short or just kind of a, a normal song. I don't know. It was the longest song on the album. I've never really seen that before um, as the first track. To me, it had a slight psychedelic feel. I didn't particularly like it. That was my, my first kind of thoughts on, on that song. Um, yeah, like you have said, the same thing. Um, the long, <laughs> longest song, uh, longest track on the album. Um, just say that seems a bit unusual. Um, and like, <laughs> I'm probably fitting in for most of the songs there. Just a nice, relaxing song. Um, and I'd say if you want to listen to the first track and you want to then get a feel what the album's like, just as that first track, and that pretty much sums up what the album. Uh, but there are a couple which they do change slightly, but that is pretty much a feel of what the um, album is all about. I said just hard not to, not really a lot to say to it really. Second song was the bandit. So this one had a bit more pressure on it because I think I read this was like their, their this is quite their, their sort of their big hit or something. Um, the big hit on the album. Um, I found it disappointing, and I was just struggling to describe it as well. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I haven't, I haven't got much to say about this one. Just disappointing. Um, Glad you said that because I've got to say the same things. I haven't got much. <laughs> or something maybe you might have a lot more to still say. Um, again, yeah, when I look back into this was one of the uh, released ones. It's interesting because I think there was probably, and maybe you might feel the same when we go down the album, maybe there's other songs which personally I could have imagined more as a release song. This one was just very forgettable. It was okay. Again, nothing wrong with it. A nice song, but um, just, just average. Just one of the average songs on an average album. Yeah, so the next song, 100,000 People. This is where the album started to grab my attention a bit more. Um, like I said, I wasn't, didn't particularly like the first two songs, but this one, which, which I've now found out is also a release song. Um, I thought it sounded like Bruce Springsteen. Um, oh, okay. The singing part. I sort of described it as kind of like a rock ballad and just generally quite liked the style. Um, look, I will go through these albums again possibly might download it but i would wouldn't have thought so but you never know maybe i'll start to like it a bit more the second time i listen to it but yeah this was where i started to realize okay actually maybe the album's going to be okay um yeah i totally agree with that sort of again it's a nice sort of relaxing start and it had it had that little bit something more to it and we've got to make it clear that obviously we're not talking massive amount of stuff it's still quite minimal for what we're probably used to and I said you started getting a bit more started, you did have a bit more of a sort of pop, electric, rock sort of um, uh, feel to it. Um, again, as I put here, hard to really dislike it. It's nice, does seem to be my favorite so far. Okay. Stormy weather. So just kind of put nice, soft rock song with, with a decent beat going on in the back, in the background. 
Um, so, yeah, like I say, this is where at this stage the album's starting to grow on me a little bit more and thinking, okay, you know, this album is okay. Yeah, again, I can't say much more than that. It sounds quite similar as the song before, getting sort of nice, relaxing. And it's made me feel like it almost felt like it could go quite rock and really take it off, but then just never. And again, it's not a negative against it because it becomes a nice, easy, listen, listenable song. But you feel like it could, take, could go somewhere with it, but then just just doesn't mm. and we had a wave so a soft slow start but then the song did take off and in the end i found the song a little bit of a letdown maybe compared to the previous two songs although it was still kind of similar in a way um just maybe not quite as good as, as the previous two yeah okay i've pretty much written the same sort of thing there second longest song on on the album um, very similar to the one before. Again, really nice, relaxing. Again, had some bits to it. And again, like I said before, it's still like it could have gone somewhere, but then doesn't. I think the, probably the only thing negative against it was maybe for this particular it was just a little bit too long. I said I didn't feel I was bored through a lot of these songs, but at this with this particular song, just because it didn't go anywhere, it sort of already had a feel of what we've been listening to. Maybe just went on that little bit too long, but that's again just trying to be really critical um, on it, really. Okay, moving on to Golden Restless Age. So interestingly, you mentioned the Killers earlier about how you'd kind of put them in the same bracket as um, Kings of Leon, which I've never really kind of considered myself. That's only because I don't really know much about Kings of Leon. Um, and I thought this song did sound like the Killers. I could have been listening to the Killers. Um, and it kind of had a bit, a bit of a kind of more of an indie kind of sound to it. Not bad, not a bad, not a bad song overall. Yeah, I think now with the next which I was starting to get a bit more sort of an indie feel to it. Again, I actually like this one. This is one that so I said this is probably my favourite so far um, on the album. And one I probably imagined, I could imagine of this being one of the release songs rather than one of the other two, really. Um, and I think and I think what I was going to say towards the end, I think maybe from list, if I got to listen to this a few more times, I think it's one of those you sort of maybe get to know the songs a bit better. They're not ones that you listen to once and remember them. I think you kind of need to listen a few times yeah um the next one then was time in disguise i thought the style was quite similar to most of the previous songs I just didn't quite enjoy this one as much not really sure why but didn't quite do it for me okay yeah um yeah it's now going back to more sort of the original style songs at the start i almost felt it almost felt like it was almost like an acoustic slower version of this previous song I generally thought they were almost like the same song, just a different style, a different version. Um, I actually quite like this one. Um, again, I think I probably need to listen to them over again, but I don't know it had something, something to it, even though it was a slow, relaxing. For me personally, it just had something um, to it I found it quite interesting. I can't quite put my finger on what it was, but um, I did quite like that one. Okay. And the next one was Supermarket. Um, I sort of noted down it was a softly sung light rock um, out of song. It was okay, but I just found it a little bit boring. Never, nothing really ever happened in the song, really. Um, yeah, so um, I put it sounds a bit like Coldplay, and again, I think it kind of has that. And I know I'm saying boring is in a negative way, and I don't really want it to sound like that because again, it is just and like I said, this is what pretty much done the whole way through a nice song really hard to dislike um i think maybe when you listen through the whole album at this stage and especially when we're trying to be critical and listen to it as an album review this is where i think where the boring comes in because you kind of listen to a lot of these songs already and there's it's, it's hard to differentiate between this song and some of the previous ones but like i said it is a nice relaxing easy listen to a song just difficult to dislike so following that, we had Claire and Eddie. So yet again, another sort of softly sung light rock song. I've described it as quite similar to the previous song. Just not really much, much more to say. You know, it was just a nice, quite a nice song. <laughs> it's like literally my words were here. I don't know what else I can say. Again, very similar to the song previously. Um, I'll say again though, nice song, hard to dislike. Now, this is the next song I found 
was different. So it's called echoing. This was straight away a much louder start, um, you know, more like a kind of rock song, proper rock song. This was probably the sort of typical song I was expecting from the Kings of Leon. Um, more like this. Um, I didn't think the, the instrumentals were really going anywhere. It was kind of the same thing pretty much the whole way through. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm no uh, musician, but it sounded like the kind of the same strings were being played um, sort of constantly. And not so good this one, which I mean, isn't surprising for me because I'm not really into the kind of rocky kind of scene. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so again, pretty much we're in the same sort of things. It's close there. Um, yeah, this is the most <laughs> rocky sounding song on the album. But I think in hindsight, it's still just a easy listen to um, song. Yeah, so it's the closest one. You probably get to Sex on Fire. Again, it's one I could probably imagine if this song had been released, I could probably imagine that. Um, was quite forgettable though as well. Again, it was hard to dislike it. Um, but at least it was a little bit different. And again, as you said, it almost like if it could have gone somewhere, really taken somewhere, like some of the other previous songs, but then just doesn't. And again, not a negative against it. it that's just for that particular song. Just all right. Yeah. So I was kind of wondering what the last song would be like, Fairy Tale. Um, you know, seeing that the previous song had kind of started to liven up a bit. But yeah, this one just went back to the rest of the, the tracks really and just was a slow one um right from the beginning nice enough again but just nothing nothing special just nice a nice song yeah it felt like a sort of nice typical ending to an album so i know we've been saying previously all the songs being nice and relaxing ones this one is even <laughs> even more relaxing even slower um and again i think with most albums would be a nice way to end it i kind of said it's, it's kind of reminds me a little bit of like some of the U2 songs where they do sort of slow relaxing ones um really nice sounds in it again just so difficult to try and criticize it or dislike it you just you can't it's just a nice nice song and like I say it was a nice way to sort of end the album uh, but then that's kind of just how you felt once it finished really just felt yeah just relaxed felt nice <laughs> what more to say okay so that concludes the uh, album review um i think just to sum up i think what i probably would say is that although i wasn't like massively in love with any song as such i think this would be quite a nice album to listen to like maybe if you're in your car or something and just have the just having it on not really focusing so much on each individual song i could see myself sort of doing that to be honest um so yeah i'm kind of can imagine myself list listening to this this album um i'm not saying i will but <laughs> i can certainly sort of imagine it um just having it on not thinking and i think it could be quite nice to be honest because as you say there it's not really there's not much to dislike it's all kind of quite relaxing quite soft um i think you could listen to it in sort of many different situations like i said in the when you're in your in your car when you're maybe doing some work at home or whatever or just having it on the background in the kitchen you know i don't know just something it's quite adaptable i would say yeah totally agree with everything that you said there really um i, I would look forward to sort of listening and like i said before earlier i think it's a type of album you probably need to listen to a few times to really appreciate and get in but i think you could just pick it up listen to it and just enjoy it and just sort of yeah you know maybe if you've got a lot on your mind just to relax and, and so yeah, I think definitely very adaptable in that sense. Um, so, yeah, like I said we've definitely done a lot worse on this. And I think it was a nice, something nice to listen to and, and to review in some ways. Yeah. OK, then. So that concludes our album review for today. Um, join us again on Wednesday for the next one. How many is that now, Brett? Do you remember? That This was number nine of this theory. So but the last one. So we've got week. one more yeah in the series okay see you on wednesday for the next um album choice goodbye